we have seen that in a triangle if two sides are equal then two angles also become equal so here two sides are equal 26.2 26.2 so two angles also are equal 47 degrees 47 degrees so equal sides contain equal angles and equal angles will also contain equal sides now what if the sides are not equal if the sides are not equal then the greater side or the longer side has a greater angle opposite to it and let us try to prove this now so for that we need a triangle first so let's say we have this triangle abc what i am given is that the two sides of the triangle are unequal so i know that two sides are unequal so which are these two unequal sides clearly i can see that ab and ac are unequal they look unequal so let's take these two sides let's say that ab is less than ac ac is the longer side so what we know is that ac is greater than ab now what I want to prove is that the greater side has greater angle opposite to it. Since AC is the greater side, angle opposite to it is angle B. So what I want to prove is angle opposite to AC is angle B. So angle B would be greater than AB is the smaller side, angle opposite to AB is C. So it would be greater than angle C. This is what I want to prove. I want to prove that angle B would be greater than angle C. Now for that what do I do? So first let me draw a line from B. In such a way, let's call this point D. Now I draw this line in such a way that AB and AD becomes equal. So you mark D on AC such that AB and AD become equal. Now AB and AD are the two equal sides. So we know equal sides contain equal angles. So angle 1 would be equal to angle 2. These are the two equal sides meeting at A. So the other two angles. So in this triangle, two equal sides, two equal angles. So I get angle 1 would be equal to angle 2. Now isn't this angle 2 an exterior angle to BDC? This triangle, let's color this triangle differently. So I have this triangle BDC. So angle 2 is an exterior angle of angle BDC. So we know that an exterior angle is equal to the sum of interior opposite. So 2 would be equal to C plus let's call this X. So 2 would be C plus X. Hence I can say that 2 would be greater than C. So angle 2 would be greater than angle C. Now angle 2 is greater than angle C and angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So I can say since 2 is equal to 1, I can say angle 1 is greater than angle C. So angle 1 is greater than angle C. Now what is angle 1? Angle 1 is a part of angle B. If you look at angle B, this whole is angle B. And angle 1 is just a small part of angle B. So angle B would be greater than angle 1 because whole is greater than the part so angle b is greater than angle 1 now i have angle b greater than angle 1 and angle 1 is greater than angle c so i can say i can write it as angle b is greater than angle 1 but further this angle 1 we know is greater than angle c so we have angle B greater than angle 1, angle 1 greater than angle C. So hence I can say that B would be greater than angle C. So this is what I wanted to prove that angle B is greater than angle C and that's what I've proved. So if in a triangle AC was bigger than AB, then angle opposite to AC which is angle B was greater than angle opposite to AB which is C. So B was also greater than C. Can you answer this question now? Which of the following is true? So these are the three options here. You have to tell me the correct answer. What I am given is a triangle PQR and the three angles are mentioned. P is 30 degrees, Q is 80 degrees, R is 70 degrees. What I want to find is which of the following is true? So let's take the first option first. QP is less than QR. Smaller the side, smaller the angle. Greater the side, greater the angle. So QP is less than QR. 
that implies the angle opposite to QP should also be less than angle opposite to QR if this is true. So if this is true, angle opposite to QP, QP, angle opposite to QP, 70 degrees should be less than angle opposite to QR which is 30 degrees. So if this is true, this should be true but this is not true. Hence, option A is not correct. Now, let's move to option B. It is saying that QR is less than PR. If this is true, then we can say that angle opposite to QR would be less than angle opposite to PR. Angle opposite to QR is 30 degrees would be less than angle opposite to PR. PR, angle opposite to PR 80 degrees. 30 is less than 80. Correct. So if this is correct, this is also true. Now let's check the third option. PR is less than QP. So angle opposite to PR should also be less than angle opposite to QP. Angle opposite PR is 80 degrees. Is 80 degrees less than angle opposite to QP? which is 70 degrees? No. This doesn't hold true. Hence, option C is also incorrect. Now, not just this. If you have a greater angle, then the side opposite to it will also be greater. So, for greater side, greater angle. And for a greater angle, greater side. Longer the side. So, in a triangle, I can say the greater angle has longer side opposite to it. So let us say that B is greater than C. Now what I want to prove is that if the angle is greater, then the side opposite to it would also be greater. So which will be the opposite side to this? AC. AC is the opposite side. So I want to prove is AC. Since angle B is greater than angle C, side opposite to B, AC is greater than side opposite to C is AB. So this is what I want to prove now. That AC is greater than AB. So there are three conditions now. Either AC can be greater than AB or it would be less than AB or AC and AB will be equal. That is it. So if I want to prove AC is greater than AB, if this is not true, what will happen? Either AC would be equal to AB or AC would be less than AB. First let us consider this situation when AC would be equal to AB. So when AC and AB would be equal, I know equal sides contain equal angles. So if AC would be equal to AB, then angle B would become equal to angle C. So if AC is equal to AB, B would be equal to C because equal sides contain equal angles. Now if B is equal to C, this is wrong because we are given that angle B is greater than angle C. So this is wrong. This is opposite to what is given. This is contrary to what is given to us. So now let us consider the second case which is AC should be less than AB. So let us take AC less than AB. So now if AC is less than AB, what will I have? Since AB is the larger side, angle opposite to it would be larger. That is angle C would be greater than angle B. But again, so if AC is the smaller side or AB is the larger side, then the angle opposite to it would be larger, that is angle C would be greater than angle B. But again, what do you see? We know that angle B is greater than angle C and here we get that angle C is greater than angle B. So this is wrong. So I can say that this is again contrary to what is given to us. We were given angle B is equal to angle C and here it says angle C is greater than angle B. So both these cases are false. Hence I can say that AC has to be greater than AB. So hence AC has to be greater than AB. So we have seen that in a triangle the greater side has greater angle opposite to it. Not only that if the angle is greater then the side opposite to it is also greater. So which of the following is true here? We know greater the angle, greater is the side. I am given a triangle PQR with three sides. You have to tell me the correct option. 
let's look at this if angle q is greater than angle p greater the angle greater would be its side that means the opposite side to angle q would be greater than opposite side to angle p so if this is angle q side opposite to angle q is pr which is 4 should be greater than side opposite to angle p angle p side opposite to angle p is 6 4 greater than 6 no so option a is not correct let's look at option b angle p is greater than angle r so greater the angle greater is the side opposite to it this implies that side opposite to angle p which is qr 6 should be greater than side opposite to angle r which is 7 is 6 greater than 7 no again wrong let's check whether c is correct that says angle r is greater than angle q so this implies side opposite to angle r which is 7 is greater than side opposite to angle q which is 4 so 7 greater than 4 correct and hence c is the correct answer